Today we are going to cook Thai basil mince pork. So to do that, first of all, we would need to have your pan and your fire. Turn it up to uh, medium high, about number seven or eight, and we're going to pour in cooking oil. Cooking oil today is sunflower oil. Okay. So we will cover the base of your pan with cooking oil. Okay. Now we'll start to brown onions. Ah, I just cook all night like Chinese kitchen. Okay, what we want to do is to brown the onions to create flavor. All right. So when the onions start browning, then we will put in the garlic. Yeah, we don't put in the garlic in the beginning because the garlic burns faster than the onions. All right. So when the onions start to uh, sizzle and release its water and start to turn a little brown, then we put in the garlic. Now we put in garlic. Okay, now we add mince pork. Oyster sauce. Fish sauce. Soya sauce. Chili powder. A pinch of salt. Pinch of pepper. Yeah. And now we continue browning the meat until the uh, Liquid has evaporated. Okay. So the final step is when your meat has been browned and you have added all the sauces and browned it already and very little water is coming out. The last step is you turn off your heat, turn off your stove and then you put in your basil. And then you just stir your dish, mix it all up. And it's done. Yeah? All right, now we are going to stir fry the side dish for our Thai basil mince pork or you can be a side dish for any of the Asian food that you're eating. So today's stir fry is stir fried spinach. Now spinach is very easy, you just can find it from any market, any supermarket, just big spinach leaves are okay. And then we will use uh, some cooking oil and then we would fry the garlic with the cooking oil. When it, the fragrance has come up, we put in the spinach and then after the spinach has wilted and lost a lot of its water and shrunk in size, we will then put a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, and we would drizzle soya sauce, like soya sauce. Okay, so let's get started. So first, you turn on your pan, um, maximum, because it's a stir fry. Yeah. And you let your pan heat up. When, uh, because it's a non-stick pan, you can put in the oil anytime. Okay, to cover the base of the pan. Okay, now we put in garlic. We will put in the garlic for about 30 seconds 
or when you can smell the garlic essence, the garlic flavor coming up. Okay. Now the garlic is done. We put start putting in spinach. Don't worry if it seems like a lot of spinach. Put everything in. Yeah. Bring a lot. Yeah? So you carefully toss your spinach. Now you put a pinch of salt. Pinch of pepper. And pour some soya. And when all your spinach has wilted, it's ready. Okay? So you turn off your heat. And you can dish it up into your serving bowl. Okay. So now we will uh, serve the Thai basil mince pork as an appetizer. How we are going to do is that we will put it on uh, small pieces of cucumber, small slices of cucumber. So what you need to do, slice your cucumber diagonally. Then you can arrange them on your plate. I will put on your Thai basil mince pork. Do it garnish with a slice of chili. Yeah, so this is our appetizer, Thai basil mince pork. Okay, so now we are plating our main course, which would be rice, which we steam earlier, or steam rice, yeah. Thai basil mince pork, and also our spinach. All right, now we'll put out your portion of rice, your serving portion, using a plating ring. Or if you choose, you can use a small bowl as well and upend the bowl after you have put the rice in the bowl. Okay, so here's our rice. And next, Next would be our Thai basil mince pork. Right, this is our chopstick. I'm not chopstick, this is our spinach. Yeah. <laughs> and we get some chili for color.
Okay. So in conclusion, anyone and everyone can cook a simple Thai meal at home using ingredients that are easily found. Our Thai basil means pork with steamed rice and a stir-fried spinach. And also you can serve it as an appetizer, Thai basil means pork on cucumbers. Look out for our next lessons.